Okay, so now that we have our little debugger, I want to take that to another level. And in order to do that, we're going to utilize jQuery. Now, right off the bat, I will admit that I am not as fluent with JavaScript and jQuery as I am with PHP. So my explanation of things with jQuery and JavaScript in general may be a little less in depth than when I'm explaining PHP. So my goal is instead of us having to put in debug equals one up in the URL, let's just put a little button over here in the top left that allows us to toggle our debug console, we'll call it, on and off. So first let's make that little button. So we'll come into Aptana here and we'll open up navigation.php and I want our button to be up in the top left corner of the navigation and, and kind of just setting on top of it. So let's go ahead and create that button and we'll do a button tag which is new to HTML5 and we'll just call it debug. Now we need to give this an ID because we're going to need to pinpoint this with uh, jQuery here in a minute. So we're going to call it ID and we'll just do btn for button dash debug and we'll save that. Take a look in our browser and there's our button. Now it's definitely kind of jacked up our styling here. So we first need to adjust the position of it. So let's go ahead and over here in config open up our css.php and down here in the style tag we're going to go ahead and make a rule for that button. So in order to target an ID we need the pound sign btn dash debug and then really all we need to do is set it to have a position of absolute which is kinda gonna turn it into what you might think of as a layer it's gonna set it on top of that navigation different than a float but it's kind of technically floating on top of it so save that go ahead and refresh and there now it sets nicely up in the top left now I want to take advantage of the styling that Bootstrap already has pre-built into it for buttons. So let's hop over to the Bootstrap website, getbootstrap.com, and uh, they uh, they redesigned it a little bit, which was great. I wish they could have uh, done that when I first started this series. There isn't a huge difference. The only thing that I noticed, and it's driving me nuts, is they put the uh, navigation over on the right instead of the left in the documentation. So I just need to get acquainted with that. Um, so if we click on the CSS tab up here or the button, then we click on buttons over here on the right and this is going to show us what we need in order to kind of get this little button style. So we need to do class equals btn which tells bootstrap that this is this is a button. Then we need to add to this button dash default primary success info etc whichever one we want and that sets the kind of coloring for the button so hop back over to Aptana here and we need to open up navigation.php and after the ID we do class equals btn to tell it it's a button and then we'll just do button dash default for now save that take a look at our page, go ahead and refresh there a little fancier looking button there now what we need to do is create the what we'll call the debug console which we're just going to toggle on and off when you click this button up top so back over to Aptana go to index.php for now we're just going to toss it down here at the bottom of the page so we'll make a div and we need to give it an ID and we'll call it console 
dash debug. And for now, let's just go in here and put in a phrase here, test debug window. Save that. Refresh the page, and there, there's our window down there at the bottom. So nothing fancy yet. Now we need to actually write the JavaScript or jQuery involved in toggling this on and off. So let's go ahead and in our config folder, let's open up the js.php so we can add some JavaScript. And after line 16 here, let's give ourselves some space and let's put in a script tag. This tells the page that we're going to write some JavaScript. So the first thing we want to address is we want to make sure that our window, our little default. So the first thing we want to address is to make sure that our debug console is hidden. So when you go to a page, it's, it's automatically hidden and it's only going to come on if we click that debug button at the top. And we want to trigger this when the document is ready. So in order to do that, we need to put some jQuery in here that, that tells it that. So to start a jQuery statement, we do the dollar sign, not to be confused with uh, PHP. This isn't a variable. And parentheses. And in this parentheses, this is where jQuery kind of gets its name. Because what we're doing is we're querying the DOM, or the DOM, the document object model. And what we're doing is we're, we're looking through all the HTML tags and finding an element. And in this case, we want the entire document. So in these parentheses, we're going to type the word document. And so after this, we do dot, and we're going to run this ready method, which is basically saying when the document is ready to handle this JavaScript, do something. And uh, the syntax in here is a little funny if you've gotten comfortable with PHP uh, this will look a little strange but inside this we actually want to run a function and uh, to my understanding at least and as I said I'm, I'm not as fluent with uh, JavaScript and jQuery as I am with PHP but we're kind of creating a function on the fly to be used right here right now and only right now so inside this document ready, we're going to run function. Give it the parentheses. And then the curly brackets. So it's kind of like we're creating a function and running it immediately. So just to recap again, what's going on here is that we're checking, we're querying the DOM, looking for the document, and we're saying, when it's ready to handle JavaScript, go ahead and create and run this function. Inside this function, we're going to do a bunch of stuff. And as I said, the first thing we have to do is hide that debug console that we created. Because we don't want it to show up unless we tell it to. So we're going to start another jQuery statement here with a dollar sign and our set of parentheses. And now, instead of document, now we're going to look for that div that we created. In order to do it, we're going to query the DOM for that ID that we gave that div. So in quotes here, we do hashtag console dash debug. So this is going to look through our document and find whatever has the ID console dash debug and then do something. And we just want to run this hide. And that's it. It's as simple as that. And that with a semicolon. Save this. Hop over to our page and see that's down there. Now let's refresh. And it's not. It's hidden. It's gone. So that's pretty cool. The second thing we need to do is now tell that button that we want it to toggle the show hide state of the debug console. So after this line, 
After we've hidden it, we need to tell the page that if this button is clicked, do something. So start our jQuery. And this time we're looking for the button. So in quotes, we need that button ID. So pound sign or hashtag btn dash debug is what we called it. And now we're going to run click. So this is saying when that debug button has been clicked, we're going to do something. And for that something, we're going to run one of those functions again. So function, or parentheses, and then our curly brackets. Go ahead and just close that down here. So inside here, we're going to tell it to do something once that's been clicked. And it's pretty simple. We just need to query the debug console again. So hashtag console dash debug and just run a toggle dot toggle close that statement save and we're done let's go over here refresh the page and again it's hidden by default if we hit debug button scroll down there it is hit debug again it's gone so that's pretty cool